What is drama? So that's, that's what we're, we're going to explore in this session. What is drama? Can you just walk around the room? So just be by yourself for a moment. Let's just be in, in silence. But have a think. What is drama? And as you're walking and thinking about this question, I'm going to call out a number and I'm going to get into groups of that number. With each other, can you just share verbally, so by talking, what drama is for you? So before you start sharing, try and think of how you can compress that into a short sentence. From my space, I say a name. For example, I might say Hamish. Okay? I will walk towards Hamish. Hamish can't move until he says another name. Drama for Life is an academic program based at Wits University and we focus on the teaching and training of applied drama and theatre and drama therapy. <laughs> Applied drama is, is the actual technique we use in the Mbuso project, and it's very different from a typical playmaking process. So in essence, we don't go into the schools and just work with the learners and make a play with them. It's really a very stylized technique that uses theater, theater exercises, theater making exercises, and also play exercises to help them not only find story, but very importantly to process the story. That the moon is like a shield for the earth. And that all the holes and craters you see on the moon are reminders for all the hits it has taken on our behalf. You see, before I got to high school and hit puberty, I never really knew that race came into play when you were trying to date people. I was horribly wrong. This program is something that allows learners outside of, of the structured learning space to actually experience something that, that allows them to express themselves, allows them to be free. Um, and for me, being an artist as well, I, I love that, seeing that happen for somebody else. Focus isn't solely on performance, but it's about what that medium of drama can do, what drama can do to create dialogue, conversation, to speak about things that matter, to speak about contemporary social issues. So the community artists and teachers take these techniques that they've learned back into their communities to work with young people. As facilitators they guide, but the young people own the process, so they're able to say what current issues are they struggling with. Yes, that was silence, and I would like to introduce the silence of education, the silence of human rights, the silence of justice, the silence of religion, and the silence of... A young person only just takes from the project a love for drama and the ability to speak and self-express. Then the project's done some work. My first girlfriend, Runzu, she, she, she was great. She, she had this cute dimple in her cheek and she used to play hockey. I, I really liked her. And, and, and things were great until one day she said, so what are you? Colored, white, or what? At that moment, I went from being a person to just another tick in an African experience box. So in your mind's eye, just see your body on the very tips of your toes to the top of your head. Your whole body in awareness. Not trying to judge it or change it in any way. Just seen it as it is. The particular part of the training that I run is a part of the training called reflective practice. So it really excited me to become a facilitator in this kind of method because I have a 
deep and strong belief in reflective practice. Reflective practice is basically the capacity to um, develop a sense of reflection and awareness of oneself in relation to the work that you do. We've been rushing from the morning. Jump, 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 dash, 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 eat, 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 eat. And then, all of a sudden, after those hours of energy being spent, activity, even when we're sitting, we're listening, or are we speaking, thoughts are bombarding us. We come to this moment, we just got to be peace with I was really excited to be able to, to run this component and work with um, the teachers and artists around trying to build an awareness of self. Okay, so you're placing yourself in relation to what we have created. Right, considering in your daily life, how much do you engage with this challenge? You might stand really close to what we have created. Okay, if you feel like it's something that you engage with on a daily basis, you know lots of kids that are struggling with this particular challenge. You see, we live in a world of black and white, but I come from a world where black and white fell in love and made me. I'm a fruit born of the tree of complexity, from a family that can't be understood by the institution of racism. I learned what love is from witnessing my parents' resilience and having to brace and embrace and fight all these things daily. Even on those really difficult days when it comes face first, I look up in the sky, I try to look out for the moon of my mother, and remember that even amongst all this prejudice and noise and whatever else there might be, that lunar presence is so much louder. Now this is something that the Applied Drama and Theatre methodology really focuses on. People who are present in any kind of process really, really are taken through a journey that forces them to come together and work together in a group. So it's not something where you can have one individual leading per se. It really, it really makes individuals present begin to negotiate as a team. Anyone can make a simple play that represents reality. We want to transcend reality. We want to say, okay, if it is hard and bad, how do we start imagining a positive future? And that's a key element in the process.